हेलो बच्चो लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन सेज डेट अ बॉय टाइज अ स्टोन ऑफ मास हंड्रेड ग्राम टू द एंड ऑफ टू मीटर लॉन्ग स्ट्रिंग एंड विल सिट अराउंड इन अर्जेंटल प्लेन द स्ट्रिंग कैन विथ स्टैंड द मैक्सिम टेंशन ऑफ एटी न्यूटन इज द मैक्सिम स्पीड विथ विच द स्टोन कैन रिवॉल्व इज के बाई पाई रिवोल्यूशन पर मिनट द वैल्यू ऑफ के इज एज्यूम द स्ट्रिंग इज मासलेस एंड अनस्ट्रेचेबल सो we will solve this question first of all we will see what will be the key concept used to solve this question the key concept that will be used to solve this question will be centrifugal force x radially outward on a body performing a circular motion in a circular motion so centrifugal force x radially outwards and fc that is centrifugal force is equal to m v square by r or this is equal to m omega square r now we have been given that the mass of the stone suppose see if this is the string with which the stone is tied So the length of the string is two meter, and here is the hand of the boy. And if the stone is performing the circular motion, then the centrifugal force will act radially outward. That is, m omega square r, and the tension in the string will be radially inward. That is, t. Now. The for maximum velocity, we will equate breaking tension is equal to centrifugal force. Centrifugal force is equal to breaking tension. This is the for maximum velocity case. So for maximum velocity. Then from here we will have m omega square r will be equal to centrifugal force is t. Ah, uh, sorry, breaking tension is t, and centrifugal force is m omega square r. Now mass is given hundred grams, so that is zero point one kg. Omega square we have to find omega r each eighty meter r each. Sorry, length of the string is two meter, so. This will be R will be two meter, and breaking tension is eighty newton. So from here we will have omega square is equal to eighty by zero point two. That is equal to four hundred. So omega will be equal to twenty radian per second. This is the maximum angular velocity. Now we have been Given the maximum velocity, maximum speed with which the stone can revolve is k by pi revolution per minute. So we will change it in revolution per minute. Now, omega is two pi h, so that will be equal to twenty. So f will be equal to ten by pi revolution per second, or To change it into minute, that will be six hundred pi, six hundred by pi revolution per minute. So k will be equal to six hundred. So the value of k is six hundred, which is option C. Hope you all understood it well. Best of luck.